Okay, I think we're ready to start here. So, all I've done at this point is I have popped this loose out of the hole it was snapped into right here. And now we'll reconnect the uh, jumper plug. And this is the uh, correct arrangement right here. So, now I'm going to cut back some of this wrapping on here. To ex expose the wires, get in here and start doing our repair. Yeah, that's given us some room to work. So, now, what we can see at this point is which wires are involved. Uh, well, since this plug goes straight through, and these two wires, this position and this position are jumpered right here. So that comes straight through to this gray and this white right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to cut these wires right out. And then I am going to solder these wires together directly so that there is no chance for lost connection in this part of the circuit right here. I'm done. I will solder these together. I'm going to make a good physical connection by putting a hook in each one of these, like so. Hook those together, pinch them shut so that I got a good physical connection between the gray wire and the white wire, and then solder that so that it is a zero resistance or as close as we can get electrical connection. I'm going to put heat shrink tubing over this to protect it as well. Now the other side is this black and this black. So that looks like a black with a white tracer and this one looks like a solid black. So you can see, I did these two already. That's this green jumper. Now we're going to do this red jumper that goes from center pin to center pin right there. So this wire and this wire, these two black wires. So this is likely the ground side of the brake circuit here with the black wires. Now we're going to strip those. Get my heat shrink tubing. Get it ready. One for the black pair and one for the gray white pair. So slide those on like so. And when you're soldering, you should use a flux or a rosin core solder or both. It never hurts to have extra rosin on your job. Extra flex is only going to help. There we are. That's got them rosined up well. Put 
This is a an ancient spool, spool of Radio Shack 6040 rosin core solder for electrical work. The only thing you would ever want to do is make sure you avoid using anything that was designed for plumbing work. There's solder that's used in plumbing work that's not appropriate for electrical work. probably could have cut myself a longer uh, section there. I could have cut off more of the insulation to make that easier and more, even more mechanically uh, strong. But this, this is strong enough. So my iron's heating up. I'll make sure my iron's good and hot. your iron is hot when you put it on your work and you want to transfer heat to the work usually a little bit of solder helps with that heat transfer process and you know it's hot enough when you can heat it on one side and melt solder against the other side there it is that one is set give that just a minute to cool just a moment actually That connection is a forever connection. Now, same thing here. Make a hook out of each of the ends like this. Hook them together. Pinch them down so they catch and stay locked together. First you do the physical, and then you do the electrical. Try to get them so they'll rest in a fairly straight, at a fairly straight angle, like that. And then we heat the iron up again. Transferring the heat. Make sure it's hot enough to melt solder. Yep, once it is, we're good to go. I think my habit is to work with little bitty short pieces of wire when I'm connecting them together like that because a lot of times I don't have a lot to work with and I've learned to work with very little wire. So it's cooled off enough that I can touch it now. I'll bring the heat shrink tubing out here. Let's see if I can get it over that big old knot I made there. Yep, I did. Got it just about centered over that knot right there. Now, put a little heat to that shrink those down, make it a nice weather tight connection and uh, that plug, that plug can cause me no further headaches now. And I will just be leaving it up inside the cup holder like so because I don't have any need to have it sticking down below like it was before. Alright. Thanks for watching.